Hello everyone, welcome to One Way TV this week. Hopefully you've had a great week. We're going to take a look at Pentecost and the Holy Spirit over the next few weeks, so stay tuned, this is going to be good. And of course, remember to tell your friends about One Way TV and encourage them to watch and then to like and to subscri subscribe to our YouTube channel. Visit onewaytv.org, 7pm Friday and 9am Sunday. And have a great week. See ya. Liz here again. We're going to talk about an aspect that sometimes concerns people. It's called, what am I saying when I speak in tongues? Now the Bible gives a few instances of what we could be saying when we're speaking in tongues and I'm going to share that with you right now. Okay, first one is Giving thanks. 1 Corinthians 14, 21 refers to speaking in tongues and says we are giving thanks. So sometimes when we're speaking in tongues, we're just thanking God. We're being thankful in our spirits about what God has given us. We're not asking for things. We're just thanking him for things. Okay, the second one is interceding now interceding means to pray for other people as you can see in that drawing there praying for other people so he is praying for people that he may know but he could be praying for people that he doesn't know because sometimes god puts something on our heart to pray for someone who we don't even know uh, my mother-in-law had an amazing experiences like this she used to pray at midday every day for many many people and sometimes she would get such a strong feeling that she should pray for someone and she'd go well i don't know what to say so i'm not going to use my conscious mind i'm going to use my spirit and i'm going to speak in tongues because the spirit knows what to say that says that in romans 8 26 27 that the spirit tells our spirit what to say back to god isn't that good so you can pray for someone, they have no idea what their need is, and you're actually praying for the very, very core of their being of what their need is. And she would sometimes find back later on from missionaries, did you pray for me at such and such a time, on such and such a day, because I was going through a crisis and your prayer brought me through. Isn't that amazing? Sometimes she'd be working away in her kitchen and God would show her a picture of somebody that she knew one time I went round to visit her and she said, is your sister going through a hard time at the moment? And I said, well, yes, she is. And she said, well, God impressed upon me to pray for her. And I didn't know what to pray for. And you don't need to tell me because I prayed in the spirit. And I know I prayed for the very core of that problem because the spirit knew what to say. So sometimes when we're praying, we're interceding. We're praying for others. Third one, sometimes when we're praying, I'm just going to look at the screen here. Sometimes we're praying, we're interceding for others. Oh, that's the same same point, but it's a different scripture. Okay, here we go. Ephesians 6, 18. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in 
the spirit when it says that you know it's speaking in tongues so that's what you're doing you're praying and supplicating for in the spirit because it says here with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints so you might want to pray for somebody that you know you don't know their need but you switch over to praying in tongues and you're giving the very words that that person needs for their very deep need so that's the second one then we have here the third one praising god the very first time it talks about speaking in tongues is in Acts 2. And it's all the people came to listen. They couldn't believe that these guys were speaking in languages that they couldn't possibly have learned. They were just simple Galileans and they weren't learned men. And yet all these people from other countries who were in Jerusalem at the time heard them speaking in their own languages and they recognized what their language and they knew what they were saying. It says in Acts 2, 11, and we hear them speaking in our own tongue the wonderful works of god isn't that amazing it actually lists in acts 2 if you have a look there at the different peoples that gathered around from different nations that heard the disciples speaking in languages they could not know and they were talking about the wonderful works of god what a great way to praise god and number four speaking mysteries how cool is that when you're speaking in tongues you're speaking mysteries the scripture for that is 1 corinthians 14 2 for the person who speaks in another language is not speaking to men but to god since no one understands him he speaks mysteries in the spirit isn't that amazing and in in uh, 1 corinthians 2 10 but it was to us that god revealed these things by his spirit so as we're speaking in ministries, mysteries, God is revealing to our spirit for his spirit searches out everything and shows God deep secrets. So we're speaking mysteries, mysteries about ourselves, mysteries about others. And I believe that as we're speaking in tongues, those mysteries are getting revealed to us and we're getting answers to things that maybe we've been worried about and God is revealing to us and opening up our eyes to things that we never would have understood before. What an amazing gift this speaking in tongues is. Don't you think? Another one. We are blessing God. Who doesn't want to bless God? Blessing means to speak highly of, to speak well of. So we're speaking highly and well of God. And that scripture is, if you bless with the Spirit. There it is. If you bless with the Spirit. Okay, so that, that's what the end of that... Uh, those slides that I've got about speaking in tongues and what we're actually saying when we're speaking in tongues. Now, there's heaps more in this book here, which I've got for five dollars. And Julie can get them for you if you want one. That goes into a lot more than what we've been talking about here. It'll tell you how to speak in tongues and and why and where and when and who and what. Absolutely everything you want to know about speaking in tongues there. So let's just finish here by praying. Lord, I thank you for the people here who have heard about speaking in tongues, maybe for the first time. And I pray, Lord, that they are able to speak in tongues and be filled with the Spirit as you give them utterance. I thank you, Father, for this amazing experience that affects our spirits and our souls and our bodies. How incredible is that? You know, even in England, I've said amen. Even in England, they studied 1,000 people who spoke in tongues and found that they were more emotionally and mentally stable than the rest of the population. How incredible. The glorious benefits of this experience as compared to no disadvantages. How cool is that? Bye.
you're good. You're good, oh, for you are good, you're good, oh, you are good, you're good, oh, let the king of my heart be the wind inside my sails, the anchor in the song. Let the king of my heart be the fire inside my veins, the echo of my days. Oh, he is my, sing it again. Let the king of my heart be the wind inside my sails, the air. the king of my heart be the fire inside my veins the echo of my days oh he is my soul for you are good you're good oh you are good you're good oh you are and your mercy that never fails us. We thank you that even in the midst of tragedy and despair and the things that are going on in the world, that we can trust that you are good and you are weaving good into our situations. You are weaving good into this world. You are using us as agents of change to bring your glory and your goodness to this world. 
And so God, we just thank you for the hope that we have in you and for all the good things that you've promised. We thank you for your presence that is with us right now. And we just commit this time to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's jump into our prayer corner. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit, that you came down to dwell among us and live inside of us. We thank you that you are a good Father, that we have a living God who created heaven and earth, who loves enough who loves us enough to leave part of himself with us, living inside of us. We thank you for the heavenly language you gave us and that you overflow from us like a waterfall. Thank you for the Holy Spirit who moves amongst us, lives inside of us and gives us good gifts to those who ask. Jesus, we thank you for your name, the name above all names, for that name that is powerful, mighty and brings salvation. We thank you that you triumphed over sin and sickness, powers and principalities. We thank you that you washed our sins, removed any requirements of laws against us and allowed us to come into your presence again and to dwell with you. We speak that name of Jesus over our families, our homes, the strongholds in our community, our streets, all sickness and disease. We claim the name of Jesus over health and healing miracles, depression and anxiety, the name over torment, division and arguments. Your name is the name over corruption and greed. Your name is the name over all. We thank you that we can declare health and miracles to those listening. We declare provision, blessing, open doors and favour. We thank you that you reign forever, that all glory, honour and power belongs to you. Jesus, we declare your name again and thank you for the gift that you have given us. Amen. Alrighty, everyone. Thanks for watching. Make sure you stay tuned for our scripture coming up, our memory verse, and we'll catch you next time. Bye. Romans 8.37 Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors, through him who loved us, from the New King James.